Okay. It says I'm live. So let's get Maddie's screen up. And hopefully people start floating in here. If you're watching the recording, just scrub ahead until you get something you want to watch. The cat is here being my friend, which is unusual. She usually is not being my friend at this time of day. So don't know what's going on with her. That's a good girl. Okay, goodbye. Adios, Roxy. All right, come on, computer. I need a pop-out chat. So we'll give it a couple minutes. People will be popping in. Remember to go to live chat so you see all the comments. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Eileen. I'm going to watercolor today, Eileen. I know that's probably not going to make you happy, but I didn't have another plan. So let me see if I can focus you, freak. Let's see. Eek. It won't be terribly painful. Let me go ahead and try and get a good screen here where I can work good. Yeah, that should be all right. All right, so I'm thrilled. Yes, watercolor. That's okay. You need an F anyway. What, you did, did you have a rough weekend? Lots of scotch involved. Hi, Shauna. Yeah, I'm going to draw. Amy last night tweeted and, or texted me and said, what are you doing tomorrow? And I said, how? I don't know. I never know. Hi, cat. So she said, oh, I like it when you draw in watercolor. So I thought, well, I've been wanting to use this paper that Cooey um, brought. So you've had such bad storms. Ooh, I haven't been paying. I turned the news off. I mean, I literally have not had the news, the TV on in probably three days since the shootings happened. I turned off the TV. I'm done. I'm not listening. I'm done with it. So, hi, Joycey. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not going to participate in the BS. That's it. So, no TV for me. Hey, CB. I want to hear how Marilyn was. And I guess Z never streamed or anything, so we never got to participate at all this year. That's criminal. So, but I'm really interested to see what you guys did. And um, yeah, this it's, I think it's called, let me get it out and see what I wrote down. This is the caddy, K-H-A-D-I. I probably should write that on the back so I don't forget. Yeah, this is the caddy, K-H-A-D-I, I think is what I just said. And it's the handmade watercolor paper, like 320 GSM. I think it's 100% cotton fiber. So, yeah. Hey, Dee Dee. Yeah, I had a hard time this morning at your stream. Um, it was buffering a lot, but I don't think it was buffering for everybody. I think it was just me. Um, so I don't know. I hope I don't have any trouble today because I truly think it was me. But, yeah, I liked watching your collage anyway. It's always like freaking magic. You were surprised you didn't stream, had a great time in Maryland. That's good, CB. I know you look forward to that. You're having some buffering? See, I'm not having any buffering here yet. But I did at Dee Dee's this morning, so I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see how things go. And I thought I'd start with, we'll just give people a little, few minutes to just filter in while I yak my head off. I was going to show some books because this morning I was looking through a lot of the watercolor books trying to find what I wanted to paint. And I forget how many totally cool books I have. Hi, Kenny. Glad you could make it. Oh, you meant at Dee Dee's you had a little bit? Yeah, so I don't know what that was about. But anyway, 
Um, but I have some really awesome books. You're cleaning that medium off your nails. Mm, not surprised. Get out your craft scrubby. Getting for it. But that soap of Kathy Berg's works really good too. But I've had matte medium under my fingernails like for three days. What in the past, not right now, but in the past. Yeah, it gets under there and you just can't get it. Doesn't matter how many times you wash your hair. So anyway, I was gonna show some books and I'll show you some cool little boxes that I made. Hi Terry. So um for those of you who um, went to Kathy Berg's stream, Kathy streams on Tuesdays. Um, I think it's at nine and well, nine my time, but 10 Eastern. Um, Eileen can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but she does lots of um, mixed media stuff and she's been taking a lot of classes. And so um, last week she showed these fun little books that she um had been to a class and learned to fold and I didn't leave one. I can't believe I didn't leave one open to show you guys. But anyway, this little one here is like an eight and a half by 11. Oops. There's two here. Um, eight and a half by 11 inch. Oh crap. They're stuck together. All right. Anyway. And this is that paper that I made last week. Um, the alcohol ink on the jelly plate, which is really fun. I would recommend it. Okay, about 10 Eastern, so I was right. Um, but watch last week's video if you want to see about how to do this um, alcohol ink on a jelly plate. It was so much fun, and I want to do it again. But I didn't want to do it back-to-back -back weeks, but that will be on another upcoming stream because that was really fun. But anyway, she showed how to make these little nine-page books. So I made a bunch of them so I could just use up junk that I had sitting around here. So these are really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And then Eileen, at some point during that stream, um, said that I should make some out of a post-it note and then write on them. I haven't written on them yet, but I have like this rainbow colored post-it books. So these are the little tiny books that you can make out of post-it notes. So I'm going to be writing on those. Because Eileen challenged me. I know. They came out so cute, right? And I just put um, washi tape there on the um, spines. Um, but, yeah, those little bad boys are really cute. Now I've lost my rubber band. Oh, well. And then this size is out of a 12 by 12 sheet, which I think is my favorite. Because it's a good size to just make a little mini journal. And it's only nine pages. Um, but yeah, if you've got 12 by 12 paper, this is perfect, perfect size. It measures three by three. So anyway, those were fun, Kathy. If you watch this, um, I will probably be making more of them. Hi, Devin. Anybody else I missed who might be coming in now? I can't believe I lost my rubber band. There it is. Because otherwise they go everywhere. Eileen being sarcastic. I know, right? But I showed her it can be done. <laughs> and actually the post-it notes were, I can't remember what size they were. Well, here I've got the original right here. So it started out as this size, which is three and a quarter by three and a quarter about. So... She can be sarcastic and throw out challenges all she wants. I am up to the task. And then uh, Friday, I went to the post office. I think it was Friday. Um, and I mailed out um, the nib holders for Norma and Vicki. So they'll watch for them. I don't know when they'll be delivered because I didn't pay attention. But um, and then people who wanted the envelopes. So there might be happy mail coming to some of you around the country today. And while I was there, I picked up this sheet of United States postage. I had gotten one of these, I think on a letter from Dee Dee. And I was just like, oh man, I've got to have that postage. So it's gold embossed. 
And these in the middle, if you end up getting these stamps, those are also stamps. So don't throw them away. But these are way cool stampage. I probably won't use them for postage. This will probably just go in my stamp book intact, just like this, because it's too awesome. So that was a cool thing that I had to show you. And then I've shown you this one before, but you guys remember the um, watercolors that Cooey brought me? I went ahead and made myself two more boxes. Hey, Norma, your nib holder's on the way. So, yeah, I made these um, to hold the new watercolors that Koo got me and I haven't put the paint brushes in yet but I did these a little bit different I made these and I've got to put something in where I can yank them out pretty easy but I did these double decker trays because I had too much paints so these are all the um, Schminka and Renaissance I'm pretty sure yeah I'm pretty sure these are the Renaissance let me look yeah so I had to put Schmink and Renaissance in the same um, little box. And now there's the glass. And then these are all the Da Vinci. And the Da Vinci has some missing because I'm using some of those in my painting today. There's no such thing as too much. I think I agree with you, Amy. Hi, by the way. Um. So, yeah, that's what I have spent my weekend doing since I couldn't watch the news because I'm just mad at the news. I'm mad at the world right now, actually. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. And I'd like to say I'm getting a bunch of other stuff accomplished, but I'm not. Yep, it should be at maybe there today, Norma, I hope. Um, hi, Julie. Anybody else I missed? I hope I'm not missing a bunch of people coming in. Anyway, I'm going to draw and watercolor today on this, um, what was it? Caddy paper from Handmade from India. But I thought I'd show you guys that enjoy watercolor. So this removes Eileen from the equation. She loves it deep down. I know she does. Amy and I decided that last night that she, we, she really does like it. She just goes around saying she doesn't. Um, but probably one of the best books, if you're just starting out, in, in my opinion, is this watercolor workshop. You don't have a lot of pressure to complete projects necessarily. But if you read the book and follow the um, demonstrations, you definitely end up learning. So if you're if you're just starting watercolor and want to play with your watercolors, this book, in my opinion, is one of the very best um, beginner watercolors um, because it it removes the pressure of completing a project or or making it look good. Um, WC means water closet. Hi, Dorothy. Um, so, yeah, and these are just pages that I've left in there where I've actually done the exercises. But I would say I probably have learned, and I haven't done all of them yet, but I've probably learned as much from this book as any other book that I have um, purchased. And believe me, I've purchased a lot. Because you can't have too many, and you just said it. No such thing as too many. So I'm just going to go through a couple other really good books that I really like. Um, this one I got at um, Hobby Lobby on sale. Um, this one is really, I mean, it's got exercises in the back that you can do. Um, but I think this woman, Jane Betteridge, um, she, in my opinion, um, shows you really cool techniques very colorful. Um, so this book I would recommend just because it's so good for technique and product. Um, and having worked in this book, I need to get myself some granulation medium. 
but hers are more abstract. They're not perfect little drawings, but they're all just so gorgeous. So this one I definitely want to do. This will be an upcoming stream, undoubtedly, but I got to get the granulation medium. In fact, I need, let me put a little marker in there so I remember to come back to that because this book is really, really cool. Just get amazing technique out of it. And she uses gauze and all kinds of different products. So this is a book I would recommend for sure. And I'm not going to go through a whole bunch. Um, this one is pretty new. Beginner's Guide to Botanical Flower Painting. I don't know that I've done much out of it, but this this was one of the runner-ups for today's project. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. Amy said she liked flowers, so I thought, okay. And I was going to do this magnolia because I just think it's so pretty and it's so light, but I was going to do a dark background. You have the book and never use it. See, that's my problem, Norma. And that's why when Amy suggested painting today, I was like, you know what? I need to do that because I buy these books and I read them. I mean, I love looking through them and reading them, but I got to sit down and do the actual projects and stuff out of them, right? So this one has beautiful flowers. You have good drawings to work from. She gives you the colors and then generally a step-by-step of how to paint it. So for me being a beginner, I think it's awesome. Hi, Kathy. I just showed my books that I did. Hey, Scooby. Um, you need the organic painting book. Really? Do I need a um, link for that? Eileen, I need more books. Like I need a hole in the head, but I love this poppy. I think I've actually painted. Well, maybe not this one, but one very similar. Dee, Dee do you have this book? Maybe you painted this. I think Dee Dee painted this, and then she put poppies down in here. She did. And I, she may have sent me one. Yep, Dee Dee has this book. But this, I think, also for just basic learning is also a really, really good book. I like it a lot. And I've read a lot of it. And this was one of the runner-ups for today's project. But I thought, oh, you might be biting off more than you can chew. But this... This iris here, this was one of the runner-up for today. This I will paint at some point. But yeah, I thought that might be a little overzealous. I'll paint along with you when you do. You've been an inspiration. Oh, Norma, thank you so much. <clears throat> she did. You have a copy. Yeah, I think I do too, Julie, now that I'm thinking about that. I think I got one of those too. And the calla lily, I love the calla lily, but I thought, well, I've painted that on stream before, but that will get painted. A lot of these will get done. And if I like this caddy paper, um, Kui brought me enough of it that I could paint all of them. So, yep. And she goes over basics of drawing in the beginning. So all you people who say, oh, I can't draw, I can't draw. Get your book out, you can draw. And this was the book that was the inspiration for all the wooden boxes. We'll buy two of them, Eileen. Yeah, you could get two. Keep one and then cut the other one up for collage. Because, yeah, this book would be. Oh, and another nice thing in this book is she gives you the... Um, vellum sheets in the front of the book so you don't actually have to draw it. I love um, to draw them so if mine doesn't come out exactly like hers, I don't care. I'm okay with that. And I guess a, play, a good place to now would be as if you're a drawer, if you want to learn to draw, probably this is one of my favorite books for just drawing flowers. You can get it at Hobby Lobby right now. I saw it last time I was in there, which has been several weeks now. But they also have the 10-step drawing for animals as well. I do, I'm not sure that I like the animal book as much as I like this one. But I've done most of the drawings in this book now. She breaks it down into steps that 
literally anybody can draw. And I don't know where the book is where I have the paintings of this. Because I cleaned, and now I don't know where anything is. Thanks, Amy. So, but yeah, if you just want to learn to draw and, you know, play around drawing, you can color it with watercolor, um, colored pencil, literally anything. And that's true. Like if you have a drawing book, go ahead and use it for your watercolor as well. I do that a lot. So, but this is for just drawing flowers. I recommend this book. It's a good book. Helps you to see things in shapes rather than a whole. And I think that's where most people um, maybe have a hard time starting a project is they feel overwhelmed by the drawing itself. Um, but if you can break things down into their smallest shapes or their overall shape and then start piece, breaking it down into pieces, you can draw. And Julie Topaz is proof of that. This is the art of botanical and bird illustration. This book is just absolutely beautiful eye candy. And this one is not very old. I haven't had this one very old. I'd love to paint that. I probably will when I feel more confident. But I like these books that give you, you know, step by step, you know, this is what you do now. This is what you do now. This is what you do now. So that's amazing, Julie. Julie just started her 11 month of drawing. And 11 months ago, she was one of the people who would say in Dee Dee's chat, I can't draw. And now she's been doing it every day, every day for 11 months. And this month, this last month, you've been doing two, right, Julie? You've been taking a prompt and doing it two different ways, both drawing and mixed media. And her drawings are good. I mean, and they're getting better every time she does it. So I don't want to hear no crap about I can't draw. You don't want to draw and paint flowers. I want castles. Oh, God, me too, Eileen. Anybody who doesn't follow... Um, I think it's cast 1415 on YouTube. And I can't remember. Just search for Kathy Arbor. Kathy with a K. K-T-H-Y. Arbor. A-R-B-O-U-R. Follow her on Instagram. And look at her garden. It is absolutely breathtaking. Every flower is prettier than the flower before. If that's even possible. She definitely has a green thumb, not to mention she's a fabulous artist. So, um, okay. So yeah, Julie is doing one for sketch a day and one for iCAD same prompt. So yeah, her garden is beautiful, but see this one, it just gives you like basic bird feet, just draw basic bird feet. That's cool. Everybody should learn that. This is graphite, which I love. So, yeah, I am just a firm believer. Sit down and do it. It's in your butt, right, Dee Dee? Practice, practice, practice. So, so I love this book, too. There's just not enough time in the day for all the awesomeness in books. Chicken feet in space. I know that was funny this morning, Dee Dee. If you saw Dee Dee's collage... When she finished, she didn't want to tell everybody what she saw, but there were, I thought it looked more like frog feet, Dee Dee. You know, those suction cups on frog feet? That's what I thought it looked more like. But chicken feet is funny, too. So buy yourself some cool books. How's that for some big girl enabling? Not enough time? Yeah. Did you get this one, Norma? And we've got October coming up soon. So here we are. We're into August now. So we're within two months of Inktober, you guys. And then this one is watercolor flowers, painters A to Z. Um, this book is, I, I just think it's beautiful. I mean, in her painting. So my project today is out of this book. I love this calla lily. This was also a candidate for today. Pansy was a candidate for today, but I've done pansies before. So I thought, pick something you haven't done. I've done a um, bird of paradise. 
haven't done a pansy, I don't think yet. This, daffodils. I would do that, but I've already done a daffodil. You like me, you have them all. Well, of course. You ordered which one? The botanical bird illustration or the watercolor flowers A to Z? This one's gorgeous. I love this book. Hi, AJ. Hi, Joey. Um, so, yeah, I think this magnolia is gorgeous. Lilies, sweet peas, red hot poker. Pacific Coast Iris, this was a candidate for today. But wait till you see which one I chose. Amaryllis, Syrian rose, rose, sunflower. I love sunflowers. Yeah, they're just beautiful to look at, even if you never paint them. I agree. Gladiolas. Hey, Elaine, how did your um, gladiolas turn out? Did you move those with you? Snowdrop, this was almost a candidate because I thought this one would be really pretty with a dark background. Fuchsia, but lo and behold, the freesia is the um, flower that I chose to paint today. We'll just flip through the rest of the book, but we're coming back to that. Ponsettia, sea holly. I think um, Kathy Arbor actually has grown some of these. I don't think they're the most beautiful um, flower in the world. I think they look like weeds. But I think Kathy posted a picture of these. Coneflower, I used to grow those in my garden in Boulder. Carnation. Delphinium, I think delphiniums are gorgeous in real life. That looks like more than I might take on right now. Dahlia, I used to have a bunch of old-fashioned dahlias. Orchids, Kathy grows beautiful orchids. Cyclamen, camellia, angel's trumpet. Begonia, Columbine, that's the state flower of Colorado. Only there, it's the blue Columbine. I would do that one in blue. Anemone, African lily, and then just some technique information in the front. I haven't painted for a while, so I'm a little um, nervous about doing this, but I'm just going to do it. My mom was called Roly Poly Gladiola. Her name was Gladys, and she would get kicked out. Aw, Roly Poly Gladioli. <laughs> so while Dee Dee was streaming this morning, I knew I wanted to work on this paper, but I want to be able to compare it to paper that I'm used to. So I went ahead and drew this out on B paper. So one of the drawings is already done. And then I started this one and thought, oh, no, Amy wanted me to draw it on screen. So um, so I will end up painting two of these. So just so I can um, kind of compare the papers. I moved them, but they croaked peonies, hostas, hydrangeas, and hollyhock. Oh, okay, good. Hydrangeas, I mean... My gladiolas didn't do well in Boulder either. I don't know if it's heat or what. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and draw this on the caddy paper. Where did... Okay, you guys, we've got a serious problem. My focus you freak sign has disappeared. There it is. Yeah, see, and that's what I've decided, Devin, is... It's hard for me um, to be able to compare unless I do it, you know, like back. Yeah, after I'm done today, I'll go ahead and paint the second one just to get a feel for the paper. Okay, so let's go. We're going to get drawn. It's hard. Let me pull this over this way. Let me get a clip to hold the book open. That's not what I'm looking for. Come on. There we go.
Okay, and I'm drawing with um, a watercolor pencil. So if you want your lines to disappear um, when you're watercoloring, this is what I would recommend is I'm using just Statler. I like these watercolor pencils. So yeah, I'm drawing with a watercolor pencil and then I'll show you the watercolors when I um, get to that point, stupid buffering. I had a buffering for a minute. Um, hang on, I'm changing my, there, see if that's better. All right, getting set back up. That paper is caddy paper, and it stretches, and it stitches beautifully, too. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so I guess the buffering is over with now, so I'm going to go ahead and start drawing. Just pick a leaf and start drawing. Kind of scope out where I want the middle of my flower. So my lines will essentially disappear as I'm um, painting if I do it right, correct? I don't want to get this first flower too big. Can you guys see, or let me pull you down so you can maybe see a little better. Okay, now you can kind of see while I'm drawing. Okay, that'll be good. And I don't expect that mine's going to look exactly like theirs, so I don't even worry about that. I mean, I'm you. It's a general idea, and it's okay, but. Um, yeah, I don't even care if mine looks exactly like theirs. I'm not worried about that. Trying to leave the white space in between like it's shown in the drawing up here. Hopefully you can see. Okay, and that's probably spaced pretty good on the page. That's one thing. I'm not using very much pressure at all, um, Amy. Probably more than I would if I wasn't on stream because I want you guys to be able to see. But I also remember, too, because this is water-soluble pencil, it's going to disappear. So if I was using graphite, um, I would maybe have to press a little harder so that you guys could see it. But then before I started painting, I'd probably use my kneaded eraser and pick most of it up. Hey, Mark. This doesn't look like stamping with potatoes. Well, you're obviously at the wrong stream. If you wanted me to stamp with potatoes, why didn't you? Um, I'll come back to the red. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? All right, so now we'll go ahead and do the.
This paper isn't bad to draw on, though. I will say that. See, it's really hard right now. I'm going to pull out just a hair so you can still see the book and me drawing on it. So... Sharpening my pencil here real quick. And I'll probably go back in and use pencil for some of the detail. That actually is one of the things I like. So a lot of people would try and keep it pure watercolor. I don't care. Um, I'll go back in and add detail with pencil later. Whether it's water soluble or Prismacolor doesn't matter to me. Okay, and I'm trying to use like landmarks um, about where to start different elements when I start drawing it. So, um, and I'm not so worried. Um, that it's exact um, more that the elements get in there, right? Oops, that's too much. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try and erase that right now. Okay. This is nice because it, this it, paper erase is pretty good too, so that's good. Right, now I'll try and move back over here so you can see. I'm right here in the drawing. Okay, now I know where my next flower is going to go. Sorry if I get quiet. I get quiet when I draw. Stop now and go ahead and put the next flower in. Is Robert working on your jet ski after the day I'm having? I'm ready to have some fun. Um, he's in town right now looking for a um, pressure hose or something like that. He's going to get the battery. He took the title. He'll get the um, registration. And we should be ready to go after the batteries in. So I think that is a project that will probably get done today, Amy. And we did you see the temperatures all week? Like it's going to be high 90s. We're going to want to go out in the sea do. All right, here's the flower up here. Yeah, I'm excited to go out riding the sea do. I love riding the sea do. All right. 
Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and if there's any room down here to finish it, I will. If not, I won't worry about. Um, you can come up and go with us, CB, for sure. You need to go back to Oklahoma. That would be great, Shauna. Come on up. How's the golf cart doing? Um, we have two now. <laughs> so, but yeah, they're both operate. They're both running pretty darn good. <laughs> The things that man does, I don't even know what to say about him. But if that's the worst thing, I can deal with him. We, he just likes rolling stock. That's all I can say. He's got an engine and wheels. He's all over it, man. But yeah, this week's going to be great sea dew weather because it's going to be hot as all get out. And we can't really complain because we've had such nice wet. I mean, this summer has been unbelievably cool, so we can't really complain. I can't believe I got that whole drawing on this sheet of paper. It's going off, but we're not going to worry about it. All right, so... Let me do some dark green there, and then we'll all right. Oh, do the center of this flower first. Okay. All right, that would be hidden. All right. I think we have a drawing that we can work with. Engine and wheel, that's your life. I know, Norma, and if you ever buy something with an engine and wheels, it's really, really hard to get him to part with him. You know, like we buy him and then keep him forever. All right, so let's read real quick the instructions. Um, hang on, just so I don't goof up here. This flower actually, this is the background one. That's all yellow. All right, and the rest of detail we'll add later. All right, let's see what it says about how to start this. Okay, and I did go ahead and um, they give you a list of colors here that, that the artist used, right? Um, oh, thank you, Kenny. Um, I did not have all of them. So it says transparent yellow, and I'm going to use, and I'm mixing up my brands. Um, I'm going to use the Da Vinci. Um, I think it's natural yellow or something like that. And then she had new gamboge, which I don't have. So I'm using M Graham Indian yellow and I just matched the colors as best I could. Um, I'm using M Graham alizarin crimson. Um, I didn't have the permanent rose. So I'm using the Da Vinci rose matter and I, hopefully they're all close enough that it's going to work. 
Um, I'm also using the Da Vinci um, Thio Indigo Violet. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't repeat. I'm using M gram dioxazine purple, cobalt blue, M gram, M gram sap green, M gram, or no, Daniel Smith undersea green because I don't have any olive. But I will be ordering some of these col colors soon. Um, hi, Kimberly. Um, and then the Daniel Smith quinacridone gold. So even though I didn't have the colors that they're called for, I think I'm close enough that I can do a reasonable facsimile, right? Um, thanks, Norma. So let's see. Here's the sequence start to finish. Um, begin by masking off the stamens in the stigma. Oh, speaking of the rat, here he is. I'm not sure that I'm going to mask off She's saying these um, light areas to mask off. I don't think I'm going to do that. But I'll think about it. Um, they the, the flowers have petals with darker red edges, and you will need to paint each one with a well-loaded brush. Use mid-tone permanent rose, and starting with the largest flower on the right, Flood on the color, leaving thin white lines between each petal to prevent the colors running into one another. When the petals are complete, but before the paint has dried, mix a watery wash of new gamboge and use the brush tip to flood this onto each petal center, allowing the colors to flow to the edges, leave to dry. Paint the other flowers and buds in the same way. So that sounds easy enough, right? Because she's saying start with the um, rose colored. And while it still went, introduce the kind of orangish new gamboge. Hi, Holly. Um, so I'm going to put the book aside for right now. I did go ahead and set up a palette of all the colors. So I'm not painting directly out of the um, little palettes. I'll use this and then I can lighten or darken as needed. And this is, oops, there goes the mouse. Um, this is the palette that I'll be using. I went ahead and did a sample palette. Um, I'm going to pull out here a little bit. If I need to pull in, we'll just do it as needed. So this is the color scheme that we're going to be working with. And these have been drying for a little while, so I probably will have to add a little bit of water to them. My dry, brush dried out. And add a little bit of water to each of them because I'm sure that they've evaporated enough out that I'm not sure where cobalt blue is going to go. So I didn't mix a lot of it. So now it's just decide do I mask? Do I not mask? Because I got to let the mask dry if I do it. We're not going to mask. Hopefully that won't create a problem, right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and she said start with the largest flower, which I guess is this one. So I'll go ahead and add some water. Um, so I'll be painting wet into wet. Like, I talk like I know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't have a clue, okay? Y'all are learning with me. And I'll let this kind of dry. I am trying to stay, leave some white space in between the petals. And stay away from the stamens. I guess I could have done those first, but I'm excited to see how this paper is going to work. I've been wanting to try it since Koo brought it. Here comes the rat. 
Hi, Robert Vaughn. Getting hot out there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very. Okay. Just need to go back wherever you got it. Just don't set it on that pile of crap. Set it way over on the edge. Yeah, that's good. That'll work. Did you get it all done? Amy's asking about you. I got everything done. I got a battery. I got everything. All right. Amy, you heard it here first. Is she on there? She's in the stream right now. Yeah. And she was asking when the sea is going to be ready because she's apparently ready to go. Hopefully sometime later this today. Okay. You heard it here first, Amy. I'm thinking I should probably, before I get too far ahead of myself, I mean, I don't care if the flowers dry out a little bit. Um, I'm going to add the orange to it as I go. Oh, my God. Whoop. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. I'm going to add the orange kind of in the center and let it move out to the edges. The water should pull it. I don't want it too orange, though, either, so I might want to water that down a hair. And if I have to go back in and add some white, I'll do that at the end. I don't really care about that. But as I'm painting, my drawing should start disappearing. I wonder if he got his pressure hose. Because I think what he's going to do is go out and deck and start power washing, which is going to make this really noisy. So I may have to tell him, dude, you can't do that. Even though I kind of want it done. The papers, I could have um, taped the paper down, but I didn't. Um, I may want to before I do the background, because I think I am going to do a dark background on this. And I got this one too wet. My water in the first one was just about perfect. But we're not going to worry about it now. All right. This one dried out a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and wet it up a little bit. Color mixing is working pretty good. I don't know how well you guys can see it, um, but it is working pretty nice. I'm liking it. And the edges are staying more pink than orange, which I think was kind of the idea. Only I might have to add some more rose back in. I might have watered the rose down too much, but we'll see.
Now I have to be a little bit careful because I'm painting around in the stamens. Okay, and I don't remember if she said, um, let's see, she did say to use a number eight round. I'm actually using a six round. I don't even know if I have an eight round. So... And they always say, use the largest brush you're comfortable with. So. And after you let it dry, you can always go back in with some additional colors. So not so worried about that. Okay, I'm not going to do the center. The, the center of the flower down there is dark, more alizarin than rose. Oh, I haven't seen any of Joan's stencils yet. I know Patty's going to be doing um, some streams this week to release them. Okay, I'm going to turn it sideways so I can go ahead and start painting op over here. And we'll get an entire first coat done. Again, I'm going to leave the center of this flower white. And colors will dry lighter than they appear. So, um, Got quiet in here. Eileen must be napping. She said she was going to when she heard I was going to watercolor. Oh, good. I needed a nap. I think she's just giving me crap, really. And I am um, wiping my brush off over here at the side. You guys probably can't see it, but I am... Um, yeah, wiping my brush off, getting the excess water. Oops. I like wet on wet because it kind of pulls the color right where you want it. Check and chat. Um, 
Jean's not going to stream. And Debbie, did Debbie go back to work? I know she was getting really close. I really feel sorry for her. Um, I'm not surprised Jean's not streaming. She's doing her knitting. And Debbie was actually taking her place um, the last few weeks. But I think Debbie went back to work. Something tells me Debbie went back to work. I don't know what, when the kids are actually coming back, but I think Debbie actually is back at work. Okay, CB said she is back to work. You can see where it's dried here and it's not quite dry here. So that will all get fixed before we're done here. But it's looking okay. I'm okay with it so far. Sorry, I'm trying to stay on camera. So yeah, I don't know if we'll be see doing today, Amy, but definitely let's if you're feeling like it, let's plan on tomorrow. Amy just got a new sea -Doo. And her husband was a little bit more prompt getting hers ready than Robert's been. Yeah, because I don't have any other plans tomorrow that I'm aware of. All right, before I go in here, see if I paint this one. Well, if I keep white between them, let's just try it. If I goof up, I goof up. Stuff happens. But I'm going to try and keep the water away from the nearby petals. Maybe a mistake, but we're going to try. Oops, just got a little bit in there, but it's okay. I think we'll be all right. I'm almost out of rows. I'll have to get some more out. Okay, I'm going to hit it with a heat gun real quick. Well, I'll let it air dry. What the hell? It's looking okay. Lane said you were supposed to be painting a platypus skiing. I know. I know. That's on my list of things to do. And tell him quit nagging me. That just makes me mad. I'll get to his stupid platypus. Tell him he's supposed to be out working. Oh, I need to get some more rows, so. Hopefully that'll be enough. Mm, didn't get it dark enough, I don't think.
I'm gonna get some more orange yellow out. I don't know if there's any other watercolor person here, but I've heard people talk about new gamboge. Is is that some special color that I need to order? Because I am gonna be ordering some. He said pelican. <laughs> Amy's husband is a goofball. A funny goofball, mind you, but a goofball. Yesterday, oh my God. I can't tell you. He showed me this meme kind of video about the internet yesterday, and I can't talk too much about it, but Honestly, I've thought about that and laughed so many times since he showed me that. Have him show you, Amy. The song. I'm sure you've seen it before, but it was funny as hell. All right, let me see. This drawing is not clear to me. All right, this is lighter. This is darker, so... And I want white along this edge. <laughs> oh, OMG. Yep, that was the one, Amy. Getting tricky now, trying to stay away from the wet petals. I'm leaving that white until the surrounding dries a little bit so I don't goof up and lose my white in there. So I'm just going to leave it for a little while. And this one actually is probably going to end up a little bit lighter than the other flowers. Thanks, Devin. Um, hi, Sherry Ann. Um, I'm using some of the M. Grams, Da Vinci, and Daniel Smith because I didn't have the colors that the artist who's demonstrating this, excuse me, in the book um, had. So I'm just mixing them up. And I figure I'll find out if they all play well together. How about that? So far, so good. Um, they're all relatively good watercolors, so I wasn't really expecting a problem with them not playing well together. Um, again, I've got a space in here where I've got to really lighten that up. So I'm going to leave it white for the time being. Um, this I don't have right, so I've got to fix it. Thanks, Eileen. Oops, I'm kind of off camera here. I am looking at my um, reference photo, you guys. So 
so just because you've got the drawing done, don't think that you don't have to go check your reference. I have to check it all the time to make sure that I'm trying to keep the colors somewhat either light or dark, depending on what the reference photo. looks like so hopefully when I'm done here it will end up having a little bit of depth Sherry Ann I think I pronounced it right Sherry Ann I'm pretty sure oh hi Vicki um hi Galena hi Ray a bunch of you have come in and I didn't notice. Um, your um, nib holder should be there today or tomorrow, I think, Vicki. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. All right, I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Let that dry so that I don't smush up and I don't lose my white lines. I'll come down and do this one. This is just like a bud. Chain anywhere. What chain to Just long chain, toe chain? Haven't seen it. Okay. I did go ahead and add a little bit of dark in that because this is a bud. I'll add darker later. Um, but I do want a little bit darker than the the petals themselves. If you came late, um, this is the flower itself is a freesia. This probably, well, I don't even know if I'm going to frame it, but that probably won't even show. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dry this so I can um, go ahead and finish it and make some corrections if I need to. See what we're working with. But so far, I'm happy. How do you like the paper? I'm loving the paper. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. And, and I'm I'm okay with it even wrinkling a little bit. I could have prevented that by taping it down, but I'm okay with it the way it is. Yeah, so far I'm I'm liking it. What's new in the fib world? Hmm. You know, it's been so quiet the last few weeks. Um, Thursdays and Fridays have been really, really quiet. Which would kind of imply, Galena, that I'm getting a lot done. Not the case. Um, <laughs> but, it, yeah, it's been really quiet. I don't think there's a whole heck of a lot new in the fib world. All right. You want to see where we're at compared to the, here's the original. 
you can tell I've got a long way to go. Hers is way, actually way more orange than mine. Um, and that's okay. I don't care. You use your paints much wetter than I do when doing botanical illustration. Well, it could be that I'm new, Dorothy, and I, I haven't figured that aspect out yet. I mean, that's the truth. Um, is that, I mean, that didn't take long to dry, so I don't think it's too wet. But, yeah, who knows? Now I'm going to go around here and add some rows back on the edges. I'm just getting some more rows. Waiting for a shipment of pan pastels. Oh my gosh, that's a happy day right there. Pan pastels are way fun, way fun. And I think they're funner since Dee Dee's been using them. I need to get my cleaner water over closer. Don't know what I'm doing, but this is working well, just like I kind of wanted it. So. Watercolor is weird because you dry things and then you turn around and get them wet again. Oh, Galena, that's a good question. Shauna is probably working, but she could be lurking in the background. If anybody could tell you that, it, I'm sure it would be Shauna. But yeah, I've been wondering about Vaughn myself. So if Shauna, if you have an update from Vaughn, I think all of us would appreciate hearing how Vaughn's doing. She's been gone for a few weeks now. What, three or four? I hope she's doing well. Um Actually, Eileen messaged me the other day and asked that same question. Do you know how Vaughn's doing? So, yeah. Shauna, if you know, we'd love to hear. If you can tell us. Never use him. And a couple of drawing though came out good. Hi, Ray. I hope you love your um, pan pastels. All right. Some of this I'm going in and picking up a little bit of color. Um, I 
that's another nice thing about watercolor is um, can't necessarily erase, but you can kind of lighten it, which I like a lot. I'm not sure I need to add much rose around the edges of these. They came out dark anyway. I'll check chat here in just a second. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> she looks here and then sends love to all. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Where'd my mouse go? I want to scroll back a little bit and see what Shauna said about <coughs> so she can totally get well and come back with better health. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Shauna. I'm glad she's lurking here and there, you know. And I hope she's getting to art a little bit. But I know it's hard when you don't feel good. You know, like my allergies have absolutely been just driving me crazy the last, oh, I don't know, two weeks. Anyway, that's what this cough is. I have so much post-nasal drip. <clears throat> it's almost like having a sore throat almost all the time. Um, so, yeah, and, and I don't a lot of days feel like doing much because I just I don't feel great. But I think the thing that gets me most of all is the damn headache. Oh, I can't stand a headache. Now I've got it going. My eyes are watering. My nose is watering. Wine, wine, wine. And I'm not sure why my allergies are particularly bad this year. I think it's because the lake was so high for so long. Um, there's got to be mold in the grass. And I don't know. I'm just probably looking for an excuse to explain why it's bad. But now you can hear it in my voice and in my nose. It's just. Uh. All right. This is doing pretty much what I wanted it to do. Is your finger watering? Yours have been bad this year? Yeah, mine have just been horrible this year. And I really thought it was because the water had gotten so high. But who knows? I don't know. Just looking for an excuse, I think.
This one actually I'm pretty happy with. I just need to go in and do this um, center part right here. I might have to go back in and add the white. Yeah, that worked out better than I expected. Yeah, baby. And you said Eileen was the whiner and you were the winner. <laughs> oh, okay, Joycey. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> All right. And then here, this is actually going to be lighter. So we'll just add a little bit of the orange in there. Okay, and this one's dry enough now. Yeah, I lost the definition in there, but I think I can get it back, so it's no big deal. <clears throat> now I can do this um, bud out on this side. I did get that just way, way, way too wet. Just reading the instructions real quick. <clears throat> okay, this is saying, to finish, add a darker mix of quinacridone gold and alizarin crimson to the flower's throat, teasing some of this color out into the petal veins with a rigor brush, see brush marks, Add darker violet at the base, and when dry, lighten the top edges of the foreground petal by lifting out some of the color. I've already done some of the lifting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and get some definition of the flowers now using the uh, color, was it the Theo Indigo Violet and the um, alizarin crimson. They're darker versions of the red. 
I already used some of it right in there because that I knew was going to be darker. So just left out a little bit. All right, now I'm going to do it down on this one first. See how it goes. Uh, hang on, I've got to wipe my nose. This is making me cuckoo. Sorry, man. <clears throat> All right. Well, this one's darker. I'll go ahead and <clears throat> add some in there, too. I don't know where that black mark came from. That's crazy as hell. Okay, I'm going to dry this all over real quick because now I don't remember what's dry and what's wet. These are Freesia. Cheryl, hi, by the way. They're Freesia. Here's the original that I'm painting off of. And mine is darker than theirs. Learning curve. Okay, Norma, thanks for coming. Watch your mail, girly girl. Go in with the darker first, which seems contrary, but that's what I'm doing. The alizarin crimson. Where did my there it is? Okay, I might want to add some pigment to get it a hair darker. All right, we're going to try that. All right, now I'm actually, I am really looking at the reference photo to see where I want this really, really dark. Ah, got to get that picked up. That is a dumb mistake. Don't freaking do that. <clears throat> but that's, I'm not going to worry about it so much because I am going to do the background of this one dark. But that is stupid. Don't ever do it.
glad I want the background blue. <clears throat> and this red is not going to pick up that well, so it's a good thing I want blue background. All right, let's see. I got this. I almost did it again. <gasps> Maybe I need a nap. No, I gotta let that dry. Don't go near it when it's still wet. All right. Let me do the dark first, I think. Tons of rain and in a flood warning. Yeah, we could use some now, though. Um, Elaine, I don't like having to water. I've been so spoiled this year with this all this wet weather that I haven't had to water much. So now that the rain has kind of dried up, we did get some over the weekend. I'm like, come on, rain. I don't like this having to water business.
I like the way that shadow worked right there. That tells me something is working better. I'm going to try and pick up some off this petal right here. That's one cut thing I kind of like about watercolor is like if I want to go in and pick up right in here, you can do that. And I think it depends entirely, you guys, and, and maybe it's just this paper. Um, but if you're using good paper, yeah, you can like, go back in and fix up mistakes a little bit. It's all good. Doing the same down here a little bit. But I'm learning. I mean, every time I do a painting, and if I'm paying attention, that's the ticket right there, is if I'm paying attention, um, I, do, I think I do learn something every time. All right, checking my... Reference drawing. I'm not crazy about what's going on right here, but I think we can fix it with a little bit of rose. I did not mix near enough rows when I started this painting. Thanks, Sherry Ann. Thanks, Elaine. All right. This one I actually should have added a little bit more orange to, so I'm going to go ahead and... It's a bud, so if it turns out a little bit darker, that's fine. Um, I'll add the detail back. I can see where it is. Um... But yeah, I should have added a little bit more orange. I'm actually liking it. OK, 
Okay, got all that dark in there. I need some dark down in here. Look, I dragged my brush right there. Ugh. This painting's definitely getting a background. I haven't decided what I want to do yet. I'm kind of thinking I want to do, um, it's going to be blue, dark blue. Um, but I might add some gauze and, of course, salt just to get some crazy stuff in the background. Yep. Yep, yep. All right, let's look at what we've got here. I need to go back in and add the lights. I think I'll do that next. Do the yellows next. Um, let it dry, do the greens, and then see where I need to go back to. I'm going to go get some clean water real quick. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry Ann. <clears throat> clean water, water, water. And the reason I wanted new water was because I'm going to a lighter color. So I've got to make sure that my brushes are really, really, really clean. All right, Amy, the sea dew is out in the driveway. The trailer tires are getting aired. So it looks like it's going to happen. All right, let me, I'm going to dry it real quick. Brush is good and clean. Cat hairs don't cost extra. Foot paper just noticed. Hang on. It's too far away. I can't read it. What paper just noticed deckless on three sides? Um. I'm sure you meant decals, and it's that caddy paper that my niece brought me, handmade from India. Um, I think she it was 320 GSM, handmade, 100% cotton. And I'd have to say, so far, I'm really, 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 really enjoying it. Um. One thing about paper is it will, um, I, I don't know if hiding mistakes is a good way to put it or what, but really things that um, <laughs> I would consider mistakes, um, the paper has made them way less noticeable in my humble opinion. And I've, I've been wanting to try this ever since she brought it to me. And she's actually in India right now. So 
if it turns out that the paper is somewhat reasonable priced, um, compared to say uh, Arches or something like that, um, I would tell her, go back and get me some of that. Yeah, baby. And I don't know how hard it would be for her to actually go to the market where she bought it. Um, she was telling me about kind of what it was like. But I don't think you can appreciate, you know, shopping in India versus shopping on Amazon <laughs> or shopping here, you know. Yeah, I don't know if it's hard for her to get around. Um, her company is very particular. I think about her going anywhere alone, like she always has to have somebody with her when she goes, um, which is good. I mean, I'm glad they're careful with her because I've never traveled to India. I don't know. I assume it's safe for people. She's, she seemed to really, really enjoy it there, but. And one thing, what she, I mean, a lot of things she was telling me about her, her visit there is I didn't realize how many different versions of the language they spoke there. Like she said, it's not uncommon that people there will speak three or four different languages. They'll speak their local dialect. They'll speak um, English. And yeah, I mean, like they're all multilingual which I hadn't really thought about. And she said they use them interchangeably. Like, um, dialects, yeah. But some of them are like totally different languages. She said they're really, really, all of them, excellent at English. All right, so let's see. I'm checking with the um, instructions to finish at a dark To the flower's throat. All right, I didn't add the quinacridone gold yet. After listening to her, I think India would be a fun place to go. And it wasn't any place that I really ever had any desire to go. But she made it sound really cool. I think it would be a great place to go visit. And the people, she said, were always, they were so nice and so helpful. And um All right, just thinking about how this is going to play out in the end. I think it's pretty good.
In this one, I didn't do wet on wet. I'm just getting a base coat of color down um, that I'll paint on top of. So. Thinking. All right, now I'm going to do a real, oops, oh well, I can use that. Real, real light wash of these colors on this branch. India is a very interesting place. I do know there are parts you don't want to go as a woman. Yeah, I think that's why they're real careful with her, Kathy. Um, she said she felt completely safe there, but because she is a visitor and, you know, doesn't speak the language for one thing, even though they all speak language, she doesn't speak Indi at all or Farsi or whatever they speak. And so they, yeah, they, she, but they have, actually given her which i i really appreciate her company for this they have given her a driver that literally stays with her almost 24 7. like he sleeps while she's in at work and then whatever she wants to do in the evening he is there to help her take her where she wants to go but she usually has to have a friend or, or a co-worker or something with her as well like her and the driver don't go off alone together um make they they make sure she's safe which i'm happy for But she said she never felt unsafe, honestly. And she very much likes the people that work with her. Um, I think it's been a really good experience for her anyway. I wish all young people could have that kind of exposure. She's been very fortunate but she's a smart, smart girl too. Just looking where I want. Breaks in the stem here. Green, green. All right. It's 
Sorry if I got off camera there for a sec. If she is traveling with work, they will make sure. Yes, for sure, Kathy. Um, yeah, it would be great if all young people could have the experiences that she's been afforded with this job. Um, it would probably be a different world. And after this weekend, I'm I'm going to vote for a different world. <laughs> I've had it. All right. That was just kind of some underpainting. Now I'll go in with the green. And then do the, um, I guess the blue they put, they're using on that big leaf. Here, I'll put it up so you can see it, what I'm looking at. Because I'm, they had me get out the, um, what was it, cobalt blue? Yeah. And I think it's mixed in with the green. I'm look, working on these right now, which is all the sap green and the olive green. Um, and this must be where they're using the cobalt blue. She doesn't really specify that. Yep, Elaine, it's it's disgusting. All right, I'm gonna do a light, light wash of the light, light green. I think on these. And then I'll add the blue um, back in. And I don't really want to talk about the tragedies over the weekend because, honestly, we come here to get away from them. But I'm, I guess you're remiss if you don't even acknowledge that there's something going on in the world. But, yeah, I think we come here to get the hell away from it. So I don't want to get into that whole thing, but there's... Just the world is a messed up place. Um, well, since Debbie's not going to stream in Jean's spot, I guess at 3 o'clock, unless somebody jumps up and volunteers. We're kind of done with streams for Monday. And I am craving pizza. Ugh. I just had pizza on Friday. Yeah, I pretty much have turned off TV. I'm sick of TV. I'm pissed off at the world. I'll put the blue in after this um, initial coat of the light, light, light green dries. I'll go back in. But I kind of wanted just a base coat. I'll go back in with the sap green and... <clears throat> Do 
to these little buds here. See how quiet I get when I'm doing this? That's why it's not always a great stream project. Got that one too big, however. That's all right. If you're not looking at the original, you don't know. <clears throat> Hi, Christine. Anybody else? Thank you, Christine. I'm slowly, slowly. Kind of, I think I'm getting better every time I pick up my paintbrush, but I still think there's a ton I have to learn, but I'm willing to do the work to learn it. This one, if it comes out halfway decent, I may send to my pen pal. Because I really, really owe that girl. Oh, my gosh. She wrote me. And I have not written back. Because I keep telling her, I want to be able to send you some cool art, man. And I really hate what I just did there. So I'm going to pick it up. All right. Looking to see what else. Okay, that one has more brown. green oops
All right, I need to get my button gear because I'm running out of time here. Quiet as a mouse, except the snuffling, snuffleupagus, or whatever they call that creature. Isn't that a Sesame Street creature, snuffleupagus? Snuffleupagus or something like that. Everybody's quiet. Yeah, that tends to happen in um, watercolor streams a lot. I don't know if people get busy doing other stuff because I think it's tedious to watch this. It really is, especially when you get down into like, this part of it now where you're starting to do in more detail and I mean it's kind of when the magic happens honestly but I think people do get quiet and, and I hope to God it's because they're working on something that they're not just sitting there going oh my god this is painful because <laughs> it's fun for me but I'm not sure it's fun for everybody else. Not tedious at all. Thanks, Kia. Hi, by the way. You don't think it's boring? Your watercolor. Oh, good, Terry. Coloring along with me, so I'm feeling better now. All right. Now I'm going to add some of this dark in with this quinacridone and the sap green and see if I can get a third color. Do some little bit of detail here.
I mean, it's just so out there. Watching someone do watercolor is boring. And Eileen, I cannot disagree with you. I really can't. I can't. There are other things that are way more fun. I agree with you. Especially if, you know, like, um, I get quiet because I have to think. I don't have experience, you know. You find it relaxing. Eileen behaves. She's okay. She can come here and um, be disruptive all she wants. For real. And she's not being disruptive. She's being honest. And I am the first person who appreciates good honesty. If she's bored, she's bored. What the hell? All right. Now I'm going to put just a layer of green back over that because I have kind of like the underpainting done there. So hopefully, with any luck, the shadows and stuff that I painted in are going to remain. That's what my idea was. And I'm not going to go over it more than once quickly so that I don't start mixing the colors, you know? <clears throat> Watercolor sleeping pills. <laughs> I can't say that I disagree, Eileen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do those other um, leaves. It looks like it's a light mixture, a mixture of the sap green with a little bit of the cobalt blue. But on it, honestly, I mean, what I just put in there is way too much cobalt. I'm almost sure of it. Let's see. Yep. So I'm going to have to water that down a lot. All right. We're going to just give it a go. I'm going to put it out here. So I can water it down because I don't need a lot of it. All right. I think a light mixture of that will be A-OK. -okay. Let's see what happens. Now watch if I screw it up this last um, little thing here. I'm going to be mad. All right. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and wet that leaf again. So when I add the color, it just kind of spreads out. Too much water. And then I'm going to go back in with pencil and do some detail at the end. Call it a day. And then I'll redo this exact same painting on the B paper. just so I can kind of see how they um, behave differently. I might have gotten rid of too much of the blue. I like that you can see a hint of blue in there. Um, I think that's going to help when I do the background dark blue. Just that little hint of blue is going to help it. I'm going to leave that a little bit darker in there because... The flower itself should be creating a shadow on that part of the leaf, right? So I'm going to leave that darker right in there.
you could almost do a background similar to your lily painting. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, only I'm going to do it in a solid kind of blue. And this is what I'm thinking. Um, but I'm going to use, it's. I'm going to do it real wet. I mean, I won't do it until later on after this is absolutely completely dry. And um, But use a lot of salt and gauze. You know what I mean, jelly bean? Do a lot of black drips and splats. Not on your life. Botanical illustrations don't have backgrounds. Dorothy, don't tell me about rules. Because as soon as you give me a rule, I'm going to do everything in my power to break it. Because that is my nature. So, this one is going to have a background of dark blue. If for no other reason than to cover up my boo boos. <laughs> and because I made everything else so dark, I want these leaves a little bit darker than maybe is shown in the reference photo because um, I made the flowers darker. So. Amen. She don't lie. <laughs> yeah. Elaine knows if there's a rule, I'm going to freaking break it. That's pretty much the way the world goes in my world. Tell me I can't do something. That is exactly the thing I'm going to do. Exactly. All right. So let's see. I need to dry this. I'm happy with the way it's coming out so far. I think there's a couple places where I need some work. But looking at it, I think it has pretty good dimension. I need to do some darker in there to make it look like it's going down. Um, I think, well, wait a minute. I don't want I'm going to hide that little bit of white right there. Um, that white I'll leave. I'm going to add some white in there. That white is okay. I don't mind. That's white. I don't mind that. I do want a little bit. Now, one thing I never did do is use this purple. It said I needed to use purple, probably down in the the shadows would be my guess, going well. Thanks, Devin. According to my organic painting book, let it dry, then add hot boiling water to make it more interesting. Okay, Eileen. Well, I'm glad you brought that to my attention. Um, Because, yeah, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Is just bringing out the boiling water. <laughs> I'm going to add some pretty dark right down in here. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, I'm in deep caca. Yeah, I like it.
Yep, that looks good. It really turns out so abstract. Well, okay, tell you what, Eileen, next time I'm going to do watercolor. Well, send me a link for that crazy book that you've got, Crazy Woman, and I'll do something out of it. All right, let's see. where That one doesn't need anything. This one has a couple. Uh, that one I should have waited. That's all right. I'll put it in anyway. All right. So this one. Yeah, it got real quiet in here. I'm so happy to be watching you live and not be at work. I'm glad you're not at work, too. It says, open the liquor cabinet and pull out some booze. Maybe the next time, Eileen. Puts lotion on its skin or it gets the hose again. I don't even want to know what Mark's talking about. little bit more detail, too much water.
All right. Okay. Um, is that the book that you think I should go, um, that I need to have? Eileen, it puts, okay, it's not a skin. We haven't seen Silence of the Lambs. I have seen Silence of the Lambs. It's just been really, really many, many years ago. Mark and E.T. have a thing. Well, I hope so. Jeez. Um, Eileen, the links have gotten really, really long. So go to the first um, series of numbers and delete everything after that series of numbers, and your link should start working okay again. I know that because that's how I solved the problem for myself. Because you've only got a certain number of characters and that, yeah, their links have gotten ridiculously long. But usually if you just delete um, after the first set of numbers, you should be fine. All right, looking on here, I think the only thing, well, no, because that, that one is a separate leaf. This one I probably need to close up this white area a little bit. That one can stay white. That stays white. That one's not quite so, but I'm going to leave it there anyway. Close it up a little. <clears throat> Did that work for you, Eileen? All right. Now I'll go ahead and do this dark green around here and probably call it a day. Now, I don't know if I should put the 
veins in the leaves with um, my paintbrush or a pencil. I think I'm going to do it with the pencil. I think I'm going to use one of these water soluble pencils. Um, Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think it'll just, at the end, look better. Book sounds scary. Alcohol, torch, yikes. <laughs> I'm not using a torch. So whatever the book says about torching anything, I'm not doing that part. All right. You guys are going to hate me for what I'm going to say next, but you know what I really wish I had? I really wish I had a Chick-fil-A lemonade smoothie. <laughs> torch it, torch it, torch it. <laughs> oh, just on the frayed edges? I'd do that then. All right, let's see what we got here. What do you guys think it needs? This has got to dry. That looks like totally out of place. It is great to burn holes in the silk. Hmm. All right. One thing I think I need for sure Black splats. I'm not doing black splats and drips, Eileen, so you can get over your bad self because that is so not happening. Black splats and drips. Not happening, girly girl. Um, I do want some of this really kind of darkish red. Looking at it, I do need to put some dark. Um, I'm going to get out a color that they didn't. Oh, well, I can do it with a pencil. I get a pencil. Looks great, but boring. I'm sorry, Eileen. I didn't mean to bore you to death. I am going to add, sorry, I'm not done. I'm going to add some little bit of dark down in all right i'm gonna get it wet first so it kind of spreads i'm gonna add some dark down in here I mean, and I want just like this smallest amount of dark down in there.
Long leaves need dark green in them and shading. Okay, thanks, Mark. You're wondering if you could get away with putting protein in your latte. I would think yes, Joycey. It should not be even a problem. Not even a problem. All right, looking at the screen, seeing what else I need. Um, let's see, I will define this a little bit better. I've got to be careful getting around the edges of these flowers because I've still got to do the dark blue. And then I think I'll go back in with um, some of the um, detail to indicate shadows and whatnot a little bit better. That got a little muddy up in there and I'm not real happy with that, but I'll get over that. Live and learn. And honestly, Mark, look at the leaves. They don't show a lot of, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some, but they don't really show a lot of um, shadows and whatever. But I will add some. With the blue-green, oh, that I match, I mixed outside here because I don't have enough space. Oh, another thing I've got to be kind of careful of is the lines that I put in there um, are watercolor pencil. Now I'll let that dry and put the um, lines back in. All right, my three hours is just about up. I will go ahead and um, I'm going to let this dry real good for a few hours. And then this evening, I'll probably put the dark blue background in it. I think the colors are strong enough that they will stand up behind. The bl dark blue background, we'll see. Um, this actually, I'm not sure I want that white. I think I want that dark. And I can go back and add in the white later. Thanks, you guys.
Probably my favorite part of this, in all honesty, is the um, stem and the leaves. I think I did get really good on those. Um, yeah. Are you going to wax the edges for the smell factor? I'm Devin. <laughs> or maybe I'll just smear it all over the back of the painting so it will just smell all the time. <laughs> That wax is so hard to get away from. Thank you, Kat. Thanks, Shauna. All right, I'm going to go blow my nose, honestly. So thanks for coming, you guys. Have a really, really good evening. Don't turn on the TV because there's nothing on there that's going to make you smile and be happy. Stay the hell away from the media um, and go create something beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Dorothy. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks, everybody. Love you guys. I'll be seeing you later. Adios, Samagos.